All right, Q1 IOB, it's do -do 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 it's June 24th, 2023 here in Pacific, California. Low 53, it's getting up to about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Medaka middle style, the metal Medaka today is Ozzy Osbourne. The ultimate Ozzy, ultimate Centaur, 1986, man. Oh yeah, I just smelt the 80s right there. Um... <sighs> Let me just take a real quick step before I get to these Ozakuras. Let me just zoom in first. The best beer of the day is the beer that I am having with all you Meraka heads while I am observing my Yozakuras. Yozakuras come in various colorations. Um, I have the orange. Uh, I think the most popular is when you see the pinkish heads. Um, persimmon color Yozakura. Uh, is what they call it or refer them referred or is what they are referred to as in Japan but since in the Western world like persimmons it's not a big thing I'm just gonna call them pumpkin heads so let me just take a real quick sip <clears throat> oh yeah that was the best sip of beer of the day so I don't really have a topic today so I'm just gonna call it the uh, Medaka Metal Show, episode number two. Here in Pacific California. So what I like to do is, um, well, I have been talking about the most important things, right? Medakas could look fantastic, but if they're deformed in any ways, you need to call them out. Um, I showed some examples of scooping them out and observing them from the side, but you can also do that from just like watching the way they swim. From above if they tend to make just uh, right turns only that means their uh, right fin is short if they tend to make left turns only that indicates that their left fin is short um, if they tend to look like they kind of struggle uh, swimming up or swimming down, it indicates that they have some bent back issues. So let me see if I could do this on the fly. This one right here looks pretty, pretty awesome color wise. Let me see. Let me try to zoom in. But kind of looks like it has a hard time swimming. compared to the other ones like it's swimming fine but it's just having a hard time coming to the top it looks like so let me I know it's pretty windy over here I don't know if you could hear the wind let me zoom out so I could try to locate here it is or here let me see all right It's really hard to do with one hand, by the way. Um, let me just float this one back in the water. Let me see. Yes, this is a shade. All right. Is it better? See how it's swimming? Like. It's reaching for the top, I guess. So now let me see if I could uh, transfer this into a, a container um, to get a better top view. I'm gonna do this without spilling this or trying to spill this or not trying to spill it. All right, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is it gonna zoom or focus? Let me get some clear water. Let's see. All right. Let me try to get a better visual. Let's place it right here. Let 
let me see if we can get a side view over here. Let's see what's going on. Let me zoom. All right, here. So it's bent down and bent up, right? Has some nice lame on the side. Uh, from the top, it looks fantastic, but here's an example of a midalka that is deformed. Um, a lot of a lot of times you could identify them from just observing them from the top to see how they uh, swim. Um, this one just looked like it was just reaching up to the surface as it was swimming forward the whole time. And this explains why. The body's just not shaped properly um, for the fish, the medaka, to swim on a natural, natural way, right? So, it's super unfortunate that, is it a he or a she? Let me see. It's hard to tell from this angle. Um, do I want to zoom in a lot more? No. This one looks like a male. Is it a male? No, it looks like a female over here. Again, from the top. From the top, man. Pretty nice, but again, watch how she swims. She's swimming like she's constantly trying to keep her head up towards the surface. All right? She's having a hard time balancing. A lot of quick movements just to try to balance, to try to come up to the surface. Doesn't have that graceful um, swimming pattern that you see on other medalkas that are properly formed, right? So, again, just from the way they swim, watching from above, a lot of times you can identify the ones that you want to check out and then observe from the side, like this one's just going up and down wave style, but this one is going to be one of my forever fishes, so. All right, let me zoom out real quick. And We're going to the forever home over here. Let me see. Here. This is my forever home over here. Um, So clear water over here has a lower pH. Green water has higher pH. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mix a little bit. Again, yeah, Madakas are not too sensitive to pH fluctuations. Um, it's more about the temperature. So as long as the temperature of the water is pretty much the same, they're going to be okay in my experience. So... But what I am going to do is I'm going to just mix the water that uh, she came from and the water over here. Uh, and then just give her a chance to acclimate a little bit while we do that. Um, I did have a question saying, like, what do Miyuki's look like when they... Age. So this is my aging tub. Uh, 
these Miyuki's have been with me for two, three years, maybe, going on three and a half, um, for some of them. And uh, it's really hard to focus, but they look pretty fantastic at this age. Um, their bodies definitely start to kind of change in shape, but they're awesome looking, so. All right. Hmm. I was hoping that this would uh, focus a lot better, but uh, focus out. This is a tub where I keep all my deformed, lovely pets. They're deformed in some way, so. Here you go, girl. You're gonna spend the rest of your life in here. And I will take great care of you. Like all the other ones over here. Yeah. It's actually a bigger tub than the one that she came from, so. She should be pretty, pretty, pretty happy. Here, oh, this one over here. This is a one. I don't know, I made a logo for Medalka Metal, and this one basically is the logo that inspired me to make that lightning bolt across the back, just because the back is kind of twisted. Um, awesome. My little sucker here. All right. Enough of me. We'll do it again next time. I gotta go eat some hot pot. So, uh, come by Jinjin Chayo. We'll do it again next time. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll go middle house.